Hello and welcome to another episode of my walkthroughs. Um, I'm George Brad, and um, today we have a little bit of uh, a different kind of video, uh, mainly because over the holidays I uh, decided that it might be a good idea to um, merge a couple of uh, processes into one video which is going to be slightly larger than uh, the normal ones but it will have the um, designs of uh, multiple concepts that I'm making over the weekend and uh, in this case this video contain uh, three um, processes two of uh, some buildings and um, another one of uh, some uh, random faces I sketched over the weekend and um, as, as I mentioned last time uh, I would really like to uh, I would really like for you guys to ask me questions about pretty much anything and I will try to answer into into my next video basically and uh, for today's uh, for today's video, we have two two guys uh, giving me question questions, and the first one is um, no name, uh, which left me the comment quite a while ago. <laughs> Sorry for my lack of uh, absence, uh, for my lack of uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, he he says. Um, my question is, do you still use references and if so, where do you find your inspirations or maybe how do you brainstorm to generate ideas? Uh, love your creati creativity and style. Uh, thank you very much, no name. Um, basically, the way that I approach it uh, is that um, usually I get my references from Pinterest or uh, from our station, from where I um, purchase them, if there's something that really specific that I need. Uh, so yeah, if, if it's something really specific that, uh, you know, it requires, um, I require to put, put in a um, client work or something like that, you know, which is more professional, I usually tend to buy some of those pictures if they are very relevant. Um, otherwise, for my personal use, uh, I pretty much go on Pinterest and, um, you know, even if you don't have any boards saved, uh, which I do, uh, I, I usually, you know, even, even when you open the Pinterest, you see a lot of uh, pictures from different topics which you previously searched. So, um, uh, I kind of let, let, uh, let myself inspired randomly from those pictures. Um, every day, I don't really know what I'm gonna draw that day, um, again, for my personal use. So I kind of want to go with um, what I feel exactly in that specific time. So, you know, usually I get inspired by um, Egyptian architecture or um, classical European architecture or, you know, Islamic architecture, whatever. Uh, and I try to do something um, based on that or you know sometimes I see some um, pretty portraits faces uh, you know photos of people and uh, I try to do some uh, concepts based on their features and you know stuff like that so it's pretty much um, whatever sometimes I see something outside you know and I take a picture or um, yeah it's it's you know it's whatever uh, whatever works I guess <laughs> but usually again a concrete uh, solid answer would be Pinterest and um, references from our station or um, kit bash or whatever you know those, those type of um, those type of sources uh, hope that answers your question and um, moving on we have another question from um, somebody named Green Much, and um, he basically asks, "How do you start off as a concept artist? 
would love to know how you started, how you prepare for it to get hired. And uh, finally, what are your goals, if any long term or short term, whichever you feel is relevant. Um, so Green, thank you for your question as well and apologies for taking so long to, to answer. Um, so how did you start off as a concept artist? Um, originally, straight out, straight out of uh, high school, I um, enrolled into a college in Denmark, even though I'm originally from Romania and I went to study abroad architecture and engineering. It was kind of a mixed profile and um, that's what I imagined myself doing pretty much for the rest of my life. Um, I always loved uh, drawing and um, architecture was kind of what I aimed for. But um, during the college years, actually the first year of college, I saw a video on um, on um, internet regarding um, uh, what a concept artist job is and you know how what I do every day and what they draw and stuff like that. And uh, prior to that, I had no idea that such a job even existed. Uh, never heard of it, although I always played games. Um, I'm still playing video games. Um, it's just that I never did any research towards it for some weird reason. Uh, so, you know, in college I found out about this um, interesting job which basically, you know, and, and it spoke to me. It spoke like, this is what I want to do. I like drawing creatures, I like drawing the environment, you know, I like drawing ve vehicles, uh, weapons, you know, creatures, aliens, monsters stuff like that so it really really uh, spoke to me and um, I did a little bit more uh, research uh, you know about where are some studios how can I get hard I checked some other people's portfolio um, and slowly in my second year of uh, college I prepared the plan to leave uh, Denmark and come back home and train for a couple of years um, and build my portfolio um, and you know I pretty much did that um, home uh, with yeah no no teacher or anything like that so um, I guess that's my story uh, and yeah just to to clarify everything I I after I came back home I I draw for like three years uh, almost non-stop um, I was having sessions of 8 to 12 hours of drawing every day and I really mean every day even Sunday and Saturday and um, after three years in December I got my first client and everything afterwards starts bouncing you know um, and gone really better and better and better um, assuming that I got more clients and um, I learned better and better what to do and what not um, but um, um, yeah so that's that's pretty much I guess my um, my start uh, just to make things clear I've never been hired in a studio um, I had a couple of attempts to, to work in a studio, but um, I ultimately um, dismissed the idea, mainly because I really created um, positive work environments at home, and um, I would like to, to keep it that way because it's, it's simply easier for me to... Um, Basically, I'm, I, I, I simply I work better and more efficient uh, when I'm alone. And, um, although, and, and also it's because I like taking risks and uh, I like to um, you know, earn more than the average payment available. So you can do that too efficiently in a studio because you will have a fixed salary compared to 
if you work as a freelancer where you can earn more um, although there's a risk that you can earn significantly less so it's um, but you know personally i waited those decisions and i decided that i should go and pursue um, this part of my career which is freelancing and i did that ever since and uh, also regarding my um, long-term and short-term goals um, it's I guess you know my, my goals change every year like a couple of years ago I was dreaming and I would I would have literally you know do anything to get hired to specific studios um, for example, you know, I, I even went to, to USA to get married so I can get a green card so I can work for Blizzard, you know, and that was insane <laughs> because it was a, such a stupid plan and doomed to fail. But, you know, I, I gave it a try. Uh, I was unsuccessful uh, nevertheless, but, you know, uh, that was my level of commitment of um, getting hard. Uh, and achieving those dreams. Uh, right now, my my dreams are mainly, in, um, uh, you know, I dream about working with um, big studios on big um, IPs. Uh, but that's it regarding um, art. Usually, the, the rest of my goals are personal, are financial. Um, they usually imply earning a certain amount of money, impacting a certain amount of people, you know, um, being the best, best version of myself, um, stuff like that. So, um, I guess not much art nowadays, <laughs> although I can say that one of my uh, small goals is to keep those dailies um, almost daily or you know hopefully two sketches every th three days or so um, those feel very thera therapeutic and good to make and um, it's it's a nice way to start your day with you know just drawing something for yourself and then you can take care of clients and um, yeah other stuff so um, yeah but, but that's pretty much it um, uh, I hope I hope I answered uh, all of your questions and um, again I'm sorry it took so much to come back to you guys I'll try to post from now on a, a week, uh, video weekly and I hope to see you again so take care and thank you again for watching bye bye